So it's Monday and it's a normal Monday kind of brain farty week. I want to be more bright today but it's hard and I'm not even gonna try to fucking front but I'm gonna be positive, I guess. So feel dear. What happened last week is I did my math and clearly I am math fucking blind and I miscalculated the amount of meds I have left because I miscalculated when I should set my next appointment for when I am home to see my psych. And that leaves me with about two or three more days of being medicated which made me choose obviously to prioritize flying which I get very nervous about and I can get really stressed out about and also traveling from you know one end of Sweden to another to get to the airport. So those were my priorities and what's left is not a lot. So I didn't take any of my medication on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and I took one on Sunday to try and balance it out because I was taking the piss but I got like fucking tired and like even right now I feel really lethargic and then my RSD came back and I have no drive and I was super distracted and I think what made it both better and worse I'll talk about both is that I knew what I could be doing I knew how I could function I knew the level I could fucking kick ass like meet my deadlines and upload what I wanted to upload and create what I wanted to create and I knew that the medication was helping to stifle the RSD and the distraction and the motivation bullshit that comes out of my head and so knowing what I could have been doing and being in bed feeling like a slow roasted Japanese sweet potato was fucking shitty but also knowing that all of the negative like distraction blah 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 is ADHD based and yes when I do get my medication stuff sorted I would be back I would be like what I want to be and knowing that kind of made me more conscious of like okay okay so this is not who you are this is you can probably train yourself out of this it'll be harder than without meds but like there is literally no point beating yourself up because this is just what your brain is doing to you and I think having that kind of realization or learning about it it makes knowing that you're not performing to the best kind of ability that you know you would be it makes it less hard to swallow because there is a reason and so a lot of my time was spent like now it's Monday right so a lot of my time was spent going okay so just try to do something small don't like reach for the moon and land on the stars and shit like that like just just try to do something small like maybe today let's try to try to download all our bank forms to to start looking at our tax stuff which I know I'm very bad at and I need to get on it but it's going to be hard so let's do it in baby steps like micro steps not even small steps like really tiny fucking steps and so like the whole mantra was like be kind to yourself be kind to yourself and then obviously like halfway through the week it's like well halfway through the four days which feels like forever when my brain was feeling like that so it was like what is the point of it all why are you even doing this why didn't you just like you know just calm the fuck down and go back to your tech shit right um but then on I think Friday so I actually wrote a little list down of things I wanted to say because I'm still pretty distracted and I took medication you know a few hours ago and it's probably gonna fade out of my system but I needed to get some administrative things done and I calculated enough for a few emergency ones so I got stuff done and I'm quite happy but I do want to make sure I get my Monday video out but I probably won't like edit this too much and I think I'll be okay with that I think and then this might not be very entertaining for you this week but I think it's important that I keep the traction going and I keep myself going because putting something out there that is raw and rough cut and honest but not giving up I think is kind of what I want to do this year. So yeah, anyway, um, I was like pretty down about stuff and I started receiving messages and on Friday I kind of came really clean, like really public about like a sexual assault that happened to me 10 years ago, which was like a group thing and it made me like super fucking nauseous to like type about it. But I think because it made me so uncomfortable, it also set me free and when I re- read it it will make you like wince and cringe slightly because I was very torn like I could have written words that softened the blow of what I went through but I decided if I just said like if I just told it like it is then like if you read it and you're uncomfortable then it might help to spur us on even more to raise better children right to raise like better generations and to be nicer because it is uncomfortable and it is shit and making it 
sound more gentle when you serve it has already been done and I really think that we should start calling shit out and saying scary hard words that hopefully have more impact because clearly the message that's going now is working but it could work a lot more and maybe if we stop trying to tiptoe around issues and just like fucking went at them you know that might make a bigger change so that and i put the link below okay what else i am cheering up already because i feel like i'm making some progress today which is nice after four days of vegetation so last week i did three videos my monday stuff my quiz and yesterday i put up my little music piece finally it was the fluidity piece and i put up the download link on soundcloud and i finally did the little glitchy music video things that i do enjoy and it's up and i'm happy so you know i feel like i might talk all fucking day about my damn schedule and i'm probably gonna fall short and i'm going to change shit up but i think for now that's okay like in three years i want to get to a point where i say what the fuck i do and i do what the fuck i say and i've optimized myself to a point where i get shit done and then beyond but for now i've made peace with the fact that i'm gonna be a bit of a fucking potato but to do shit that just keeps getting done so that's kind of like my little thing this year okay and my soundcloud is up i said that already what else there right new music there's new music I have uh, written another piece on the piano and I'm not sure if I should start publishing sheet music. I don't, mm, I mean, I'll just put it up anyway. And that one is for a spoken word piece that I want to do based on me doing my little medium article about the sexual assault. And I kind of just want to speak it out in words and not, you know, just not sugarcoat it, but just like read it and try and deliver it in another medium, which I feel might be a stronger message. And so a lot of this energy and or courage has kind of come up because like I've got a ton of messages from people on my Facebook or on Instagram and they have come out of their, you know, their safety and their hiding to admit that they're in pain or they're in abusive relationships or they wanted to kill themselves. And I think that just reaching even one person makes it really fucking worth it because we don't need any more people to just feel alone or in pain or like die because no one's talking about shit and yeah so that was heartening and it made me want to get out of bed and do more shit and be less ashamed of shit um yeah okay so what else do i want to do oh my patreon is up and i've put the link below and there are like a million bringing tears for you to choose from because i'm all about that choice stuff even though it's bad business sense but like i feel like you should have options and like maybe you don't want to see my music stuff maybe you want to see my videos maybe you just want to see my art you know but it's there and i'm excited and i'm scared and i hope that it kind of helps me out a lot with continuing and doing this full time and just waking up in the morning to raise awareness and advocate for like strength and vulnerability and shame and creativity but yeah so it's there it's there take a look at it of course you know if you can contribute i'd love that and if you cannot it'll be great if you can just like keep watching and see what happens okay so i have to update my art my studio website and i am kind of in the middle of this like little geometry kind of like canvasy like watercolor texture grungy collage kind of thing and i i don't hate it it's it's interesting because it's less trippy like some of my work has become less trippy it's still a bit off i don't mm, i like it i like where it's going and at first i was like oh this is not on brand this is not your usual like trippy surreal shit and i realized that if you don't if you just do the same style all the time like i'm never going to grow as an artist and i need to like i think keep experimenting like with all my medias and my mediums and see where it ends up like i think that's fun and i might start doing a little category for like geometric stuff surreal stuff you know and also start doing more physical work i might scan my pieces and not just sell them also like things like this i'm really proud of and this was done a few days ago when i was really overwhelmed and it really helped me get out some bad juju and i gotta still iron it and stuff but i like it a lot um i'm trying to figure this all out i'm trying to figure out how to like get them shipped properly sign them frame them but i am very proud i think of how far i've come in terms of consistency especially when it comes to art and now i think working on this channel and it's growth and any growth is growth and so i'm very happy oh yeah this sculpture that i want to do but i'll get there that's fine it's just molting in my corner and i will tell you guys when i do that and what else um i'm going back to Singapore next week so not yet but I am looking
looking forward to the food, not looking forward to the humidity. I'm looking forward to seeing my friends. I might quarantine myself for a week just in case I catch something. I don't know, I'm a bit of a germaphobe. And oh, um, yeah, so this week I want to continue what I wanted to finish uploading last week, which was the Do You Have ADHD quiz, which was part one, which I did on Wednesday, but there's part two, which is the quiz by the World Health Organization. It is the it's the super sciencey one and like it's gonna be a bit heavier but I think it's important to kind of get a bit less frivolous with my references <laughs> and really buckle it the fuck down because you know people think it's not real right but we gotta just science them so it makes sense. So that video is coming out on Wednesday. I'm clearly derailing my thought processes. It's just going like on Friday, there is probably gonna be an art slash music freestyle thing. Not sure, might just put up the spoken word piece or the spoken word music. And then the question is, do I put it on Vimeo for more like, I don't know, maybe my, I should separate my studio stuff from this channel, but I don't know yet. I've also started working on fixing my very old and clunky site. It's like two years old, which is ridiculous. And I want to kind of streamline it more into what I'm doing now and where I'm going and where I'm heading. But the studio site is up. You can make purchases there. There is a code. The code is keeping it surreal for 10% off in the month of March. And because I don't know how to figure out the shipping stuff, it's currently like 350 crowns and we'll just see how that goes. And the link for that's below as well. And I am pretty fucking proud of setting that up. And I'm doing more like visual stuff and like videos and like on beyond like kind of sinky, weird, surreal, underwater, trippy, dream geometry stuff. So there's also an Instagram which I need to shape up. But yeah, also happy belated Women's Day. Here's to the fucking weird ones. And we're doing just fine. Okay, I literally can't remember what else I wanted to say and I didn't write it down. So far. And I guess that's it. I'll just stop filming now. And that's pretty much the Monday video of the week. Um, like, subscribe, comment, page us down below, follow, support, click through, see my stuff, see my work, see my art stuff, see my my awkward stuff, music cooking stuff. Um, read the assault article, support Patreon, and I will try and find the willpower between now and Wednesday to get the Wednesday video done, which is Do You Have ADHD Part 2? And yeah, so I will see you then. Thank you for tuning in. Be kind, don't be a dick. Don't cough in someone's face, cough in your arm, wash your hands. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys very soon.